All right, what is up you guys and of course welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle in the PU tier best tier ever in Generation 7 versus Gera, uh, a good old friend of mine in actually been a friend since Generation 6 and uh, He always throws me off for a loop, but do you believe I've said this more time than I want to but quite frankly he is by far the strangest opponent I can go up against because he throws me off for a loop usually with really really creative sets that um, like it could backfire on me so well like I try to be inventive myself and you know, try something different here because he knocked all of my team that's clearly being invented in front there that is as far as it goes however looking upon his team fairly standard to an extent but trust me none of them are what you think they are and that's scary because you really can't expect Gara to go standard and that means it will be all the more exciting because of that now quick run on my team we have Silvella Dragon which is a predetermined defogger uh, we have Mushana, which is all things considered the only dedicated switch into Girder. PU is very tough right now. Mushana and Bulky Waters are the only thing pushing Girder back. And uh, that's why we have a Colberberry Mushana, which is going to be redundant for this matchup. Um, Fly MC, Noctowl with Agility, Woke Up, Hurricane, and Roost. Blossom with Hidden Power Fire, Giga Drain, Quivet Dance, and Strength Sap. Fantastic Pokemon. Uh, really underrated. Uh, aggron here, this is an um, offensive-ish aggro with the Heavy Slam together with Stealth Rock, Toxic I believe, and Head Smash. Uh, main role here is, as it looks like, to set up Stealth Rock if possible, Toxic the defensive matchup you can be forced to fend off against, and furthermore, Head Smash things that don't want to get smashed. So that's plenty. Um, only downside to that would be that he has an aggro on his own, which I absolutely can't damage due to this. Heavy Slam does pretty much nothing. And then we have Absol, which is a Scarf variant. Really want to push forward that Super Luck um, Absol with Scarf is really, really good in this tier. Surprisingly good. Had it not been, as stated before, Girder, it could have been more viable. But it still is a very good Pokemon as a whole. Now we're going up against, as stated, Gera and his team is as follows. Ninjask, Manitrick, um, Agron, Politoed, Altaria, and Quagsire. Now... There is a thing to consider here, and that is that uh, Quagsire is quite tough for me to break down, naturally. It's bulky enough to win against a lot of matchups here, and uh, unless I get that Pokemon Toxic, it's not going to go away anyway. Uh, Altaria can be annoying, as long as Altaria is gone, in theory, Blossom can sweep. And that's probably the only key thing to keep out on. And of course, Politico can be annoying if it's a Soul Fest. Aggron is annoying no matter, no matter what it is, since I don't have a fighting type. And Ninjask, if it's banded, or if it is even worse, ground UMC, I going to have a tough time. I am I really am. So uh, th with that cover, let's of course go into the match. I'm also uploading this as Koro Koro has this massive leak about the new totem Pokemon's gonna say, but though they're a ga Gainomaxing or <laughs> Gigamaxing, Gainomaxing. No, nope, I'm gonna call it Gainomaxing. Um, but I really hope this video does quite all right anyway. I will have been an intro for three minutes, so you know what? Fuck it. Let's see. The battle! Hey! I'm being overly excited here. First time in like forever I'm actually alone at my house. I can go freely with my voice. I barely remember this game, how it started. I'm gonna start with Garuga, the Silvella Dragon, and um, he starts off with the dash slash. Now, I don't have potting shot. I definitely would have believed that would have been greater on me. Um, my opponent here goes actually for a withdrawal instead of U turning, which I thought was surprising at first. Uh, as I myself go for a stand, oh, I can play for a follow U turn. Was, that was unfortunate. So, anyway, Mega Manetric is in, and not Mega, just regular Manetric. Really frail. I'm switching out in case he is um, just having Hidden Power Ice, and I'm gonna go to my Catrol to soak that uh, Hidden Power Ice. But no, it goes for Volt Switch, and it does so much damage that I'm convinced this is a Specs Manetric, and that's about it. So, it goes back to Dash Slash, uh, Leash Life. Absolute ruin me here, so I need to switch out. My ease is switching its aggron. Really hoping this Pokemon isn't ground UMC and it doesn't go, doesn't go for a sword stance here. Uh, but it goes for U turn. I was like, whew, dear god. And I don't know if it's better or not because aggron your four times resist that hit or at least, at least once. Uh, no, only resist by steel. So it goes to Muddy, the Quagsire, and um, he can, in theory, get a free toxic here. There's really nothing to it. Uh, I'm really gonna stress that you know, it is what it is. Uh, so I'm switching out, predicting the potential Skull, go to Catrol. Really all I want to do is, if I get myself toxic, at least I get him toxic too. 
So that is what happens. And the positive part is, obviously, I get him poisoned, but I also in a defensive matchup where I can recover and switch out. Uh, so from this point, I felt alright. I felt really alright. I... To, um, well, win the matchup. But he's gonna switch out. He actually goes to uh, Cirrus, which is the Alteria. And this Pokemon could have, and I really stress this enough, it could have. Um, sea fly together with dragon dance and uh, outrage and if that's the case then you know I, I don't have a switching for that um, basically Agron can force it out eventually but that's about it so I decided to go to Agron hoping he doesn't pack earthquake or anything like that because that would be super unfortunate but he goes for Hillbill. so that means that Quagsar isn't um, of course uh, toxic no more but I can only assume this is a more defensive Variant of Alteria, and uh, I'm gonna go for Stealth Rocks here as he goes for Dragon Pulse, and I really thought this was surprising because that isn't denting an Agron, but since it's stayed in, I'm gonna follow that up with a Head Smash. That also means that the Rocks is on the field to stay, uh, most likely, and uh, well, <laughs> there's really nothing to it. That's basically it. I really sat here deciding whether or not he stayed in a second time, so he goes for Defog. So all I was thinking now, you know, do not, do not miss this head smash because that's gonna knock out Alteria. And we do connect it, and uh, well, we we popped out. Of course, it dies. <laughs> so it, it looks stellar. It means that I can get next time I'm gonna self rock here to stay. And since Ninja is in theory a very hard threat for me, I, I really want that to happen. Now Monarchy comes back in. And my only like fear switching still is both Silvalli and uh, Mushana. But consider if he evolved switch last time, I can only assume he did do that again. But goes to Switcheroo, trying to get my Mushana. So good play on him. He's locked into that, of course. Uh, and I decide to go for a U turn here, knowing he has to switch out to get some type of momentum. So I'll take that momentum back. Thank you. And. Um yeah, I really hope uh, Generation 8 is faster. Now, I go to Lucant, my poor, poor Blossom, and, um, well, basically, I know I forced this Pokemon out, but uh, whether or not I can sweep or not, I have no idea. So, I actually decided to go for him apart Fire here instead, in case he gets his Ninja skin, and we gotta pop that. Unfortunately, it doesn't do as much as I want to, but at least the next time we got a Stealth Rocks, it's dead. Uh, I'm gonna switch into my Galvatron, my Aggron to soak any hit, predicting leech life. It goes for U-turn, makes sense. Um, I think I have all the reasons to believe this is abandoned in the ask. I really, like, for the life of me, I can't decide what I think about it. So it goes for Froggernaut, the Politoed, and uh, I think my best switch in here was Mushana. I was leveling back and forth, uh, what made most sense for me, but basically, the only like real switching I have is. The last time, and this could very well have in or have Ice Beam, so I didn't want to risk that. So went to Mushana, as it is actually a physical Politoed with Earthquake. So here I was thinking, dear God, do not have Belly Drum, do not have that. That's gonna be, I don't know how to stop that. <laughs> I really don't. I mean, it's not offensively dangerous or anything like that, but sure as hell will hurt. So it goes back to his dash slash, and I unfortunately don't attack him. I go back to actually Eclipse, or don't go back, I go to Eclipse, uh, which is Scarfed, and, um, well, I decided here to Pursuit Trap him uh, as he switches out, because since I'm Scarfed, you know, that was probably the play, I was thinking he's gonna go actually for a U-turn, but, you no, know, I'll, I'll take this, it clearly is almost as good, so we really are in a good spot. Now, he goes to Colossus, which is his own Aggron, and I can only assume this to be an offensive sweeping Aggron, because that wouldn't be Gara if it wasn't. So I go to Lucant, uh, my only play here was to Strength Sap him, as he goes to Autonomize, and uh, when it all comes together, it really, <laughs> like, I'm going like, shit, uh, this means also that my poor, poor, poor Absol can't outspeed him for a go for a superpower and knock him out, and it got, gets a flinch on me, and I'm like, Jesus, this, this cannot happen, I can't win versus this if he flinches me, I need to get the Strength Sap going, it goes for another Iron Head, uh, I cannot take another Iron Head, and I break through, get the Strength Sap, and Blossom is back in action. Also drink coffee while recording, I have to drink coffee. Anyway, 
Um, we are now in a position where, in theory, I can set up freely. I need to be speedier than this, and I need to string sap it. So, quite frankly, the position I am in right now uh, is that I basically win from here. He has no switching after two quiver dances, and I can wrap up the game. And I really, really want to enforce that this is something I say, because I get the quiver dance going, and uh, I do believe I get another strength sap going after that. I kind of felt... And you guys have to excuse me now, because this game gets a lot tougher because of this decision. I really want to showcase Noctowl. I really did. Like, so much so, that I decided that after I get to this position, where I basically just wins and wants to put Giga Drain, and he goes for course to see me, because why wouldn't he? <laughs> what I'm trying to get at is that I'm gonna switch in Noctowl after this. Uh, basically because he's minus two, he won't hurt me. And I can set up freely with Noctowl and try to sweep with the Noctowl. Um, and I thought that was a grand idea. I really, 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 really did. Um, even more so considering the move he went for, but yeah. Now, now that I said that, explained why I did it, and the game get a lot longer because of it, I'm gonna switch out to, of course, my Noctowl. So, <laughs> so going to Hector. And my initial idea is to go for agility, potentially a work up. He's actually gonna go for a sack play on his own, go to Muddy the Quagsar, and try to get some free momentum, I guess. Uh, but what this basically meant was um, that I can get my agility, and you know, that will basically be hit. Uh, but it actually goes this one actually directly. And it turns out that Hurricane could knock it out from this range, but Hurricane is still Hurricane. I really want to see Hurricane to be saved to Aggron, but I just I couldn't risk it. I really, really needed to get some backbone going, so uh, I decided to go for a, a Sea Hurricane versus this Pokemon. Uh, do I regret it? Possibly, maybe, I don't know, do you know? <laughs> but anyway, I decided to go for the Super Sonic Sky Dragon Knockout. Like I said, I really just want to showcase the proudness of the Tinted Lens. Uh, Noctowl, while unimpressive offensively, is really good with this agility set. But it needs work up to get these things going. Um, so with that said, yeah, uh, he switches back to his Colossus. Now it's full strength, of course it is. So I have a position here where I can't switch out. I gotta go for Hurricane. Really hope to get this Pokemon confused. Uh, as you guys see, Hurricane does very, very good chunks, and he goes for Fair Autonomize. Uh, I'm still faster, so I shouldn't worry. And I of course need to connect the Hurricane and potentially getting confused, but I missed the Hurricane, which means his Iron Head gonna do a lot of damage to me, but we get a second wind here and get another Hurricane going, and uh, what do you know, we actually get getting confused. Uh, what is the important part, or inf unfortunate part, is that of course, while he is confused, for sure, he's not hurting himself in confusion, gonna knock down on a Noctowl, and uh, well, things are getting strange, like very strange, because, well, now I need to switch in my Blossom. Now, I have two ways of uh, fending this off. Either go for Giga Drain, knocking him out, or go for String Sap, trying to stop it that way. Uh, so go for Iron Head, it does a really, really good chunk of damage. I go for Strength Sap instead, because I'm thinking at least I get another wind of uh, setting up freely. And I decided from here, I might just very well wrap up the game, because this is getting scarier at the moment. I really, really can't risk anything more. I need this win somehow. But it goes around head, he gets me flinched, that's alright, you know, that's happened. I have at least, I do believe, four more tries to go for a Quiver Dance or another Strength Sap. Uh, it goes for another Iron Head, and, uh, well, you know, gets me flinched again. But as stated here, I have at least three more tries at this. So, you know, I am not a lot worried, but I should be, because finally the game said, you know what, gonna, gonna play that part, you get critted. So Blossom is gone, and I'm like, shit, what do I have to switch into? Now, fortunately, I did get this thing at minus one attack, so it's not going to defeat anyone of my mods, but it can, you know, flinch hacks me to death, basically, if, if I'm very unlucky. Uh, but fortunately, we do break through, and we're going to knock out Aggron. But, dear God, this Aggron did way more work than it should have done, and I really, really, really was considering, what, what the hell do I do? Now, here's the Frogronaut, and I said it before, I was fearing this Pokemon to be a build drum set, so I went for Draco, like, get this thing out of range of a potential belly drumming, or, you know, pop the citrus, whatever. Uh, but we do a fair chunk, but definitely not enough. 
Uh, but it goes with substituting K instead. And here I am basically... Oh, and I am minus two special attacks. I can now not break that sub. And he could very well have um, Ice Punch. Says it's physical and not special. Uh, not that it matters. I go to Galvatron. Trying to soak any hits he goes for. He goes for Waterfall. And it turns out that it isn't that offensively scary. However, we already seen that this Pokemon has Earthquake. And... Uh, this means he's absolutely gonna go for it now. <laughs> so I switch back out and I go back to Garuga to break the sub. Uh, as of this moment, I'm not scared of it, but can't hurt it. Um, I need to break the sub to kind of make Absol work. Uh, and the Earthquake will do very, very little. Like, so much little, I'm just looking at it like, wow. That's surprisingly low damage. Now we follow that up with another Earthquake to go for Waterfall, which would have been a stronger move. I survived both, but I definitely think that Waterfall would have been better, considered a flame chance, but you know, it is what it is, I'm not here to dictate or debate. Uh, go for Draco, break the sub, and um, depending on the Quagsar, I, I basically I can't defeat Quagsar naturally, I need to get that thing toxic to will it down eventually, so he can't recover stall versus me, so I need to have every Pokemon as alive as possible, so with that said, I actually went to Absol here. And uh, my main idea with Absol was to take any offensive moves he goes for, and then basically lock myself into knockoff, because um, if I get knockoff going on, I can knock off the leftovers on the Quagsar. So, Froggernaut is out, finally. <laughs> that Pokemon wasn't scary at all. And so, like I said, Quagsar is the only Pokemon left, and um, I have, in theory, not the means to stop it, but... Um, I have the Pokemon to survive it. So, um, I stay in, knock out those uh, pesky leftovers, and then I'm gonna go to Aggron. Aggron's role here is to get this thing toxic, since it's the only Pokemon I can use for toxic as a whole. And uh, then from there, basically, with Mijana, kind of try to stall it out as well as I can. Um, I do outspeed it, which is awesome. Uh, which is less awesome is that, you know, of course, Earthquake is gonna knock me out. And... Uh, I was hoping he was going to recover here, uh, so I I'm, guess I'm somewhat glad he did. Uh, because that means that at least the toxic turns will add up and I don't lose any turns of toxic here. Um, so basically, it, this looks a bit stale, but basically this getting him toxic means that I, in theory, win. So I go for Head Smash, because why wouldn't I? And it does nothing, it should do nothing with a Quagsire. And he's very quick, absolutely knock out Aggron. Um, now, in a position where um, I just go into Mushana and uh, try to wrap up the game. I don't know how much Mushana will do. All I know is that I can switch to Mushana, I can recover, I can force him to, you know, get the toxic turns to add up and then switch into Sil Valley, sack it so I can reset my own toxic turns. Um, and that was my only idea. I, it do turns out that I actually outspeed it, which I also didn't expect, but Mushana is... While slow, Quags are also slow, and I actually have a bit of investment in its speed to outspeed other Mushanas. Um, so it goes very quick, it doesn't do anything, and I think my opponent here, Gara, realizes that he can push the game, but this is as far as the game goes, so he won't go for a recover stall and anything like that. He will just wrap up the game, and we're gonna win this game 2 0. Uh, or I believe Psychic here was actually enough, because I was outspeeding. Anyway, so. Yeah, we knock out the Quagsar, and that is a uh, 2-0 victory in our favor. <laughs> Should be noted here, I really want to stress this enough. Had I just with Blossom started the sweep, like, at least like 15 turns earlier, the game would have ended with me as 6-0 in Gera. But like I said, I didn't want that. Like, I didn't... How do you say it? I really want to showcase my Noctal set, but also at the same time, really wanted uh, Gera to get a lead way. Uh, because losing Altaria meant that Blossom and Fury won. And of course the hacks intervening just made the game that much more exciting. Um, when I play Wi-Fi Bell, I really want to say this so you guys get me. I don't aim to win the games. However, I do want the game to showcase sets that are interesting. And how how balanced or unbalanced things can be. Um, so for what it's worth, I think I got that out of this game. And I absolutely didn't care if I won or lose. I, I was just impressed with how Gera kind of brought this game almost back. Uh, those Iron Head flinches, while well, unfortunate as stated here, was still, in the end of the day, really exciting. <laughs> so, of course, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this game, and I hope this 
game actually does quite fair, considering the situations that at hand with, of course, Upload Room and Koro Koro and, uh, you know, the big leaks! Hey! Hype! I guess. Um, they're only, like, we're, I think we're one month away from the release of Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's gonna be really exciting to see how that turns about. I'm, of course, um, took a free, free, few free days to, of course, play the game. Of course I did. Um, so with that said, guys, always thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, have a great day. Take care.